Hello, welcome to the Prof Learning Channel. In this video, we will explain how to draw three dimensions shapes, which are named as solids. Let's start with the first solid, which is the cube. To draw the cube, there is more than one way, but the simplest way is the following. First, start by drawing a square like this. After that, and from the middle of our square, we start drawing another square, which is identical to the first one, as follows. And then, we connect all two corresponding vertices of the two squares, as follows. Finally, we draw the cube, and we find that it has each two opposite faces are congruent. Now, let's draw our second solid which is a cuboid. Drawing a cuboid is not much different from a cube. First, we start by drawing a rectangle like this. Then, and from the middle of our rectangle, we will draw another rectangle, which is identical to the first one. Now, we connect all two corresponding vertices of the two rectangles together, as follows. Finally, we draw the cuboid, and we find that it has its two opposite faces are congruent. Let's draw our third solid, which is a cylinder. A circular cylinder is a very simple solid. To draw a circular cylinder, we start by drawing an oval at the top like this. After that, we draw another oval, but in the bottom, and in symmetry, as follows. The second oval is identical to the first one. Then, we start to connect the two ovals by using straight lines. The first straight line from the right ends of them, and the second straight line from the left ends of them, as follows. Now, we draw a cylinder, and we find that a circular cylinder is a solid, which consists of two circular bases. Now, we go to our fourth solid, which is a cone. Let's see how to draw the cone. To draw the cone, we need to draw an oval at the bottom like this. Then, we define a point at the top of the oval. This point, located in the middle of it. Then, from this point, we draw two straight lines. The first one, start from this point, and go to the middle of the right side of the oval, like this. And the second straight line, start from the same point, and go to the middle of the left side of the oval, as follows. Now, we draw a cone, and we find that the cone is a solid, which consists of one base in the form of a circle. Now, let's see our fifth solid, which is a sphere. Drawing a sphere needs to do two steps. First step, start by drawing a circle by using compass, like this. And second step, is drawing an oval shape in the middle inside the circle, as follows. And finally, we draw the sphere. And now, we arrive to our last solid, which is the quadrilateral pyramid. To draw the pyramid, we need to draw two congruent triangles, and both of them are in different direction. So, we start by drawing a triangle like this. Then, from the opposite side, we draw another triangle, which is identical to the first one. Finally, we draw the pyramid, and we find the quadrilateral pyramid consists of four triangular faces and one square base. I hope that explanation was perfect. Thanks for watching and listening. See you next time.